Welcome to the Green Living Show 2011. I'm Emmanuel Beliveau, and you're watching Exhibit Showcase. I'm with David from Wild Ontario. David, how are you doing today? Very well. How are you? All right, who do you have here with us? This is Whistler. This is a female broad-winged hawk. Um, they are somewhat common around Ontario. Uh, they, they're the boreal forest is one of their main stomping grounds. I notice she's missing some of her claws. What happened to her? Uh, she was found in a farmer's field, um, malnutritioned, uh, eating insects and suffering from frostbite. So that's why uh, she she's missing some of her talons. So, so what is her role now? Oh, she's, uh, she's an ambassador for her species, essentially. Um, we are, Wild Ontario is uh, essentially an, an educational facility regarding birds of prey and, and their habitat. She's uh, quite a diplomat. Uh, she's uh, very accustomed to, uh, to people being around her and stuff like that. She does get a bit skittish every once in a while, but uh, she's accustomed to this kind of thing. I'm with Rebecca from Wild Ontario. Rebecca? Nice Hi, to meet nice you. To meet you. And who do we have here? This is Einstein, a great horned owl. And how old do you say she is? She's 17 years old, and we actually know that because of her history. She came to us when she was just over a week old. And she's never been in the wild? Um, she was born in the wild, but she wasn't raised in the wild. All of the birds at Wild Ontario come to us because they have been injured in some form and they're deemed non-releasable by the Ministry of Natural Resources. So Einstein, when she was born, she was one of three owlets in a nest. And that nest was in a tree that was aging and it was going to fall down. So the farmer cut down the tree. Unfortunately, the nest was destroyed in the process and the parents abandoned the nest. Sometimes when a nest falls, the parents stay around and feed the chicks and raise them. But her parents abandoned her so the farmer was monitoring the nest he caught he brought them into the Ontario Veterinary College and um, that's how we got her so what's her existence now what does she do on a um, daily basis part of Wild Ontario which is a volunteer run program at the University of Guelph we're an educational program and we use injured birds of prey to be ambassadors to the public about conservation and wildlife in Ontario and what is your interest in all this well, I would consider myself an environmentalist. I love the environment. I think it's extremely important that we let people know the amazing environments we have right here in Ontario. Not only in Ontario, you don't have to go to Algonquin Park. Right in Toronto, you've got Tommy Thompson Park and you've got High Park and there's such amazing wildlife and people don't really realize it. So when we bring these birds to people and we tell them these are all birds that can be found in Ontario, it helps them appreciate what's around them. It helps them appreciate and want to conserve the environment around them. Ontario Nature is a wonderful organization. They support field naturalist groups. They support conservation of the environment. They help people understand what we have, where we live, which, which is so amazing. And we don't need to travel to South America or Africa to find mind-blowingly amazing animals like Einstein. They're right here, essentially in our backyards. All right, well, thank you so much for your thank time. You so much. And it was a pleasure meeting Einstein. Yeah. Einstein, you take care. Anything to say? Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm Emmanuel Beliveau, and you're watching Exhibit Showcase.